Janet, the bomb-throwing absolute queen, is going to be the newest brawler coming into the game. She's got a very solid amount of health. It's going to be the same as brawlers like Bo, Gale, or Squeak. As for Janet's shortest possible attack, it has the exact same spread as Griff's super attack and half the range. Now, for her maximum range attack, it actually has the same spread and just about the same range as Griff's regular attack. But unlike Griff's main attack, hers pierces through enemies. And if you're feeling extra special and want to attack somewhere in between, at half of her max range, her attack's basically going to have the exact same geometry as Sandy's main attack. Keep in mind, though, that it takes about three quarters of a second to fully get your attack to max range. And this time doesn't start counting down until you actually have ammo charged up. So with no ammo, you're not going to be able to pre in your attacks. She has a pretty medium reload speed that's the same as brawlers like Jesse and Nani, and the actual projectile speed of her attack is pretty fast. It's the same as brawlers like Colonel Ruffs, Leon, or Amber. Each attack's gonna do 1500 damage, which is exactly the same as a Fang Super or a Surge Super. But you know, it's at long range, so you don't actually have to jump on someone's face to do that damage. Now, before we get into the spice of Janet's Super, quickly check and make sure that you're already subscribed to the channel. Okay, cool. Now that that's out of the way, her super lasts for six seconds, which is the same duration as Leon's invisibility super. Now, she doesn't go invisible, but she does become invincible, which I would argue is a lot better. When she's actually in the air, her controls are very similar to Peep in that you're constantly moving, except unlike Peep, she doesn't explode into oblivion when you hit a wall. <gasps> so actually, if you run yourself into a wall head on, you can get Janet to stay in the same spot. So if any targets are against a wall, you're going to be able to consistently hit them with a bunch of bombs. Each bomb has about a one and a half tile radius, does 900 damage, and recharges one eighth of your super per hit. All of these stats are basically just half of a bomb from a penny turret. Half the damage, half the radius, and half the super recharge. Give or take a small amount. Now, Penny's already an underwhelming brawler, so I don't think these bombs really are going to do all that much. But then again, Penny can't control where her bombs are going to land, and she doesn't have seven seconds of invincibility for her super. The first gadget that we have already out for Janet is drop the base. This is basically just going to be a sandy super with rude sands activated, except it can last up to 11 seconds longer than sandy super if no one decides to take out her turret. And it has 1.3 tiles more added onto the radius, so it's going to cover more area. And then for her first star power that we already have out, stage view, she's going to have vision in 2.6 times that of what Bo's circling eagle gets you. If that star power wasn't already useless enough, it sure as heck will be now. Now, if you're interested in becoming good at brawlers that you actually have in-game already, then make sure to check out this video.